Thanks. Mike Brass with the Washington Examiner. Uh, DOD still hasn't said who the targets of the airstrikes were. Can you tell us who the targets were, and if not, why not? I don't believe we've refused to say who they are. We haven't given you any names, but we, we absolutely had solid intelligence that this was, uh, that this was ISIS uh, individuals who were uh, in, the, in the act of imminently carrying out a direct threat to the airport uh, and to our people, and potentially to innocent lives outside the airport. The intelligence was very good, uh, and we, we took the strike in, in as timely a fashion as we could to prevent this imminent threat. There's, uh, there's no question on the department's mind that it was a valid threat, valid target, uh, and related to, to ISIS-K. Okay. okay. Louis. Uh, yesterday, General Walters spoke about a 10-day limit for individuals in, in UCOM. Right. What, what exactly is that, and is there a limit for the individuals in the CENTCOM countries? Uh, let me get back to you on the CENTCOM. I don't know. I'd have to get that from Central Command, Louis. What the general was talking about in Europe, uh, these countries have asked that we keep people no longer than 10 days at these uh, at these f facilities, and I think he talked about how we're we're working with the the countries. We're gener we're grateful for their generosity, and we're working very hard to meet those those guidelines as best we can. I'll have to take the question on CENTCOM. I don't know if there's similar limits on time frame. Obviously, there's different capacity uh, capabilities at each of the uh, countries in the region and Central Command that that are helping us host some of these individuals. But I'm not sure that there's a time limit thing on it. Each of those. I think his number he said yesterday was like 20,000 people, 23,000 people are and still in UCOM are going to the United States or are they going to be housed in other countries? Um, that that uh, most of, we anticipate most will be coming to the United States, but not all. Um, uh, uh, and that's, a, again, to some degree, that'll, that'll be determined by the individual family members and, and, you know, the people that left Afghanistan, we can't assume that each and every single one of them want the United States to be their final destination. So, so if that clock pulls, I mean, I think it's by next Wednesday, you would have to have all of those individuals back to the United States. Well, or, 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 or not, at the, not at, at the bases where they're at right now, not necessarily all back to the United States. And again, the general's better to talk to that. I think he mentioned, he talked about that yesterday. Yeah. Okay.